Shalom family and welcome once again to the big family gathering. My name is Juliet Osalume Seomoleje. And my name is Naifa Yichiku Johnson Uzo. And this are FBC News. See, eh? I just like this church. Oh, really? Uh-uh. Which kind of question did you want? Yes, now. Nah. I think you know the, you know the street where you enter this church. See the choir, where choir they see. The way they make me feel like good. I said, I never heard Bible before, but it made me feel. When Bible talk, I said, it will be. Now that feeling, now they always stick it, and they get joy. I mean, at the message, the message rich. If you carry out, go anywhere, if you still walk. I feel like if I find people who God bless us with this church. In fact, anytime I wake up for money, like this good girl. I just think of people who are not coming for church. Also, my mind go this sweet me, they sweet me, but they go this sweet me. I sit now on here. Yeah. So, if I am, tell me, what is the one thing about this church that you're grateful to God for? Sure. Now, question of this one. I see my sister. Now, need to ask question. Now, job question of that one. Uh, for just carrying people for all seats, for who wants to be here. Yeah. I bet we'll go street, we'll go ask our people this same question because if I start to the answer you, time go go. We know go feed two way till we come to for here. My people for streets. So yeah, now make we hear which one I get to see. Shalom family. I'm grateful to God for a lot of things. But I'm particularly grateful to God for those things I seemingly think he hasn't answered. Thank you, Lord, for what you are doing. Thank you, Lord, for what you have done. And thank you, Lord, for what you haven't done. Because I know that your plans for me are good and not of evil to bring me to an expected end. Shalom. There's an obvious question somebody asked me. What are you grateful for? The major thing I'm grateful for to God is putting me in a family like this. A corporate body where you can pray, you can praise God, where you are at home alone, sometimes you feel at lost, you come to the family gathering and you get this hope of for life. And you get this, this fiber. I don't know, when you come to church, there's this feeling that you get every time that I come to church. I always want to be around this family big gathering. Every Sunday, I don't want to miss the church. Every weekdays, I always come to church also. I don't always want to miss the church. That is the major thing I'm grateful for, for a big family gathering like this, which is life. Thank you, and God bless. Shalom, family. My name is Sophia Shola. The one thing I'm grateful to God about Fame Foundation is this prophetic atmosphere, the joy, the, the, the atmosphere is, is so friendly. It's a unique one about Fame Foundation. Thank you. I don't go to my school. Shalom family. I want to thank God for the life of Fame Foundation, for the culture of family in our church, the genuine love that we will look at for each other, the follower. I'm grateful to God for that. I like fair from this so is because they teach you how to listen to God. You have been so On the 17th of December 2022, our church family will be giving back to the community. We want Isaiah 55 verse 1 to be a reality in the lives of as many people as possible. We will be blessing them with free food and clothing. That's not all. There will be avenues for people to be prayed for and cancelled. Let's do this together, family. Putting a smile on people's faces is the best way to end the calendar year of 2022. We are looking at providing foodstuff for at least 200 persons. We will need bags of rice, bags of beans, potatoes, spaghetti, good clothes, 
good shoes and bags, nylon bags for packaging, mats, and even cash gifts. Thank you and God bless you as you give to us this course. Next week is Thanksgiving. Yes, now, uh huh. You be forget, bro. At next week, Sunday, now all of us they gather together. Papa, oh, mama, the king, brother, sister. That, that time will be here when we take the gather together. Take time for our God for all the better men, all the jolly meditation. What he don't give us from January to December. If you say God not to you, well, be man. You go God now, faithful God, and in faithfulness, they ever show. You know, before this is, you go call stop, you go call say, no, no, no. It's faithfulness for all generations, seasons. So, at the time of the year, we will take the come together to thank God. Bring your phone, bring your cow, bring your goats. Not to say, hey, this church, they're not the collect, uh, all this is with the collect time. Carry our call. We get space for couple who will keep your manu manu. I bring them call, still bring your envelope. And your family go, we we call thank Baba Jehovah for all the things we have done for us, my people. <laughs> it's like you bring your phone. I love saying that wow. No, I know. I found one thing open. But... Eh, my bed, I found as I say, what's the one with phone? Gotcha. My son will be sorry, you're too coming. I'm about to say, make phone because she broke it. All right. Indeed, God has been faithful over us. Some say they can't even say it in words. Well, let's take some true backs of God's faithfulness in our lives as a church. He's done so much for me, I cannot tell it all. If I had 10,000 tongues, it still wouldn't be enough. People for inside church. If today now the first time we take the conscious, this church fair foundation. Now your first time we think go. Ah, now because of you we open doors that we do safe. It was say impossible to open roof. Now because of you for open up so that you go and talk from anywhere where they come in there for you. We want to you say you do well. Thank you for all the many many churches with this area. You say now fair foundation you won't come. We appreciate you. I beg at the close of service, when you will stand up, may we appreciate you so that we will give you the gift we will the gift people will come visit us as people will be honorable my people we are welcome again thank you and to all our first time guests we are also honored to have you please leave a message on our live chat with the hashtag first timer and our host will connect with you and that's all the news we can take on today's broadcast 
On behalf of our lead pastors and the FBC News Group, we say thank you so much for being part of our family. We love you. Love. Oh, 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 oh,